All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're going to be looking at how we can utilize AI WiseMind and if we want to spend more time on the article to really optimize it and see what kind of SEO scores we will get. Um, this isn't, isn't going to be the same uh, AI quality analysis that I normally do. Um, I might do that in the future. Um, those of you that have seen some of my other videos where I keep track of uh, and grade each uh, AI writer's content, um, this is similar to that, but, um, the video will get pretty long. And so, and then I'm not doing all those, uh, tests, uh, if you will, with the articles, uh, that I normally, um, load into each AI writer. But in today we're going to be jumping in and, um, kind of utilizing this box right here with the context right here the most. So let's go get a keyword. Uh, we will be using Neuron Writer. Um, if you guys don't know what Neuron Writer is, most of my audience knows uh, Neuron Writer very well. Um, this is an optimization, a content optimization tool. Um, it is an alternative to Surfer um, SEO and Phrase, and there are several others, but those are the two that come to mind the most. Uh, but definitely, this is a, a very good option. It's still currently available on AppSumo. Let me go and double check real quick. I'm going to go to AppSumo, type in Neuron Writer, and I just want to verify and make sure uh, it is still available as low as $69. It's been a while since I've checked out this uh, page over here. Get this for um, you can max out at looks like seven codes, 483 bucks. And to get you, um, you know, the most AI credits per month and the most projects, content analysis and all that sort of thing. So uh, I definitely recommend this tool. It is um, a top tool. Uh, I've been reviewing AppSumo products for uh, more than two years now. And this is definitely a standout, one of the top 10 tools that I've ever used or reviewed on AppSumo. So highly recommend to go pick it up while it's still available. <clears throat> Uh, one last thing we can come over here and check how much traffic this site is getting um, they are getting 300 almost 350,000 monthly visits so definitely a legitimate business um, that i believe will be around for a really long time they also continue to update their software and seem like they have a great team behind uh, them okay so with that with that said let's go jump in let's go grab a keyword uh, i'm going to go over and for this we're just going to do some fun basic stuff like I just typed in Candy Cross. This is one of my niche websites that I don't mind uh, displaying to you guys. Um, of course, we've got the gardening site that we're continuing to work on. Uh, we're starting to get some traction. Um, I'll give you guys an update on that site as well soon. But we're going to come in here, and I like this one right here. What is the difference between uh, Candy Cross and running? I do need to make sure that I haven't uh, answered this on the site yet. Uh, once you start getting um, articles on the site, you do need to go and verify that real quick. So we're going to take that keyword. Uh, we are going to go into uh, Neuron Writer first, right? And I'm going to go new query. We're going to throw that one in. I'm going to take the question mark off and then I'm going to say start. It's going to an analyze this real quick and we'll be right back. And while we're waiting, we can move over to AI WiseMind, new content, create a new campaign. This is going to be an information post. I'm going to go ahead and just throw that in right there. Um, the keyword or URL is right here as well. And I'm going to check this box, use keywords as title. If we don't check this, then um, if we just had like a smaller keyword like Candy Cross or something like that, then it's going to just write an article about Candy Cross and it will come up with a uh, title itself, right? But normally, you're probably going to want to do that ahead um, is what I recommend uh, is having uh, it set. Um, okay, so this is the main part. We're not going to put any affiliate links, but I thought that this was interesting as well. We can actually put affiliate links in here. It could even be just like a, a Candy Cross search for um, in Amazon, and you can grab that link and throw it in here, and then it will um, some some affiliate links, which is super cool. Um, we're going to stick with um, all this stuff right over here. I think that that's fine. We're going to leave that. Um, and then we're going to go with the 3.5 turbo. Yeah, I think that that's what, where we, where we want to go. I'm going to go with, um, <clears throat> in this case, I'm going to select uh, professional and medium, and we're just going to not publish schedule. And I'll have to figure that part out because we just want to write the post and not actually schedule it. And I'm not really sure it's kind of set up for that, but we'll uh, we'll get around it. Okay, so let's go back over and grab our content over here. What is the difference between Candy Cross? We're going to select on that. We're going to just make sure there's no no major outliers. It doesn't seem to be, but there seems to be some really good content uh, 
two in the top 10 are in green over 70. I'm going to go next. And this is why you would do this step first. If it's going to be some content you really um, want to rank or something like that, then you would use this kind of process. You would actually go through and and get this information down here with Neuron Writer, right? Put the title in as well right there. We've got our title and we are good to go. So we'll be starting out at a 21. <clears throat> and that's what a lot of I had more than one person reach out and say, hey, can you make sure that you grade the content before? Uh, before optimizing it. Okay. So, but what I wanted to do, okay. I'm trying to think about this because I wanted to actually feed this, um, article. Um, okay. So we'll do two, we'll do two tests because I wanted to use, utilize all these keywords to create a nice SEO article to show that, to see if we can actually even do that. Um, before doing that, I'm going to go step and we can actually grade a piece of uh, content. I'm going to go back into testing. Uh, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Okay, I'm going to stay on track um, because I'm getting kind of um, unorganized here. But I know that some of you wanted to just see what the content looks like and see what the neuron the neuron writer score is before even doing SEO. So I'll have to come back to that at the end of the video. Okay. So right now we're going to go like this. We're going to all right, create article draft and let's see over here. We're going to, I'm just going to add those, uh, copy to editor, editor. All right, great. So I copied the H2s. We're going to come back over to AI wise mine. I'm going to throw this into, um, here and that should be H2s. And then I'm going to say these keywords. I don't know if, but then we're going to go back over to Neuron Writer. Um, we'll copy visible terms to clipboard a list of terms. We'll chat GPT prompt with suggested terms. Um, let's see right over here. I'm going to try that. I'm, I'm in a notepad over here on my other screen. Okay. I've got 30 keywords and I'm going to go ahead and just paste those in right here. Uh, we're going to start with 30, you know, maybe we can put a hundred in here, but I just want to start with 30. I don't want to, um, I just want to, we're just doing some testing, right? Okay. So, uh, let's go and okay. So I'm going to push create and we did not have it, um, selected to go to a WordPress site. So that's how you would just create an article and have it just create it for you. So what is the difference between uh, Candy Cross and running? It is now going to write that for us. It's processing 10%. We'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so it took about three minutes uh, to write. So I think that, again, that's encouraging. I think that even if we were literally to go to ChatGPT and type this uh, query in and started writing, I mean, it's still going to take probably that long. Um, but it's, um, yeah, definitely glad to see that it's, it's not like it took 60 seconds or something like that, but it did come up with 3,300 words. That is just insane. Okay. So what we're going to do is, um, let's in this case, download this, let's just download this. It is the text. Let's see what the text file looks like. Okay. So it is in HTML. It's in HTML format. Um, I can come over here and just show you. So it's an HTML format right here. So I'm going to go over here and I think that we're going to actually just go to uh, view and it gives us a meta description uh, right here. So may as well. And I don't think that that matters at all. I'm just going to put it in there anyways. Um, I don't know why we have a 35 uh, based on just the title. Uh, but we're going to come back over here to content. Oh, it's because of all this. Okay. So I need to go and control a and remove all that. So we can get back to a fresh start over here. All right. So we're back to our 21. Let's come back over here. Um, definitely. This is where you're going to want to probably just because it is using AI, it's using the doll E um, to create AI images when it doesn't have something. So I would recommend possibly just turning that off. Um, super weird images. So we'll just get rid of those. Uh, but this is just massive right here. Kenny Cross has a sport uh, considerations. So we'll go and grade and see what um, we get out of this. So let's go ahead and just copy all of this text right here. This is just a massive amount of content that we just wrote. I'm going to copy that, go over to Neuron Writer real quick and paste it in. I'm going to go ahead and remove the images um, like so. Back down and remove that one as well. Do you see a lot of red? Come back. And we'll come back. Okay. So we literally were able to achieve a 58 score right out of the gates, which is pretty nice uh, considering all we did was just load Neuron Writer. 
and copy the terms. And we actually only copied uh, 30 terms and we did copy the, um, we did copy the, I want to uh, see if, so this was what the um, H2s were. I want to just kind of, I'm going to have to use my other screen real quick. I'm just uh, pasting these in. I'm doing the research for you, could not find. Um, so that this basically just tells me that, you know, the tool is not set up to, could not find. Okay. So I took all the H2s, about 10 H2s. We are looking at them. Um, and it did kind of write, it, it wrote the way that it wanted to write. So basically what I'm trying to say is that by us coming in and look at the campaign over here. Okay. So I'm going to go click back on the campaign by us filling this box out in particular with all these, uh, these did not show up as like H2s or anything like that, um, in the, uh, writer. And so that tells me in a sense that, you know, you can't use this like you can with agility and so forth. So uh, this, um, right now as it stands, and I'm sure that they will maybe create uh, like a manual writing module or something like that, where we can really fine tune and hone in on the SEO features that we want to. But right now they don't have that. This is an automation tool, an affiliate niche website building automation tool. Um, and it's, it's amazing. It's the best that I've seen, but it's not going to be for those pillar piece of contents that you want to uh, have just per perfect, right. And, and control the article brief and everything at the beginning. I don't think I'm not seeing that this, that it works. Right. Um, I do want to go and uh, check some of these keywords and just see, um, if they all showed up. So we'll come back over to my right over here and let's see, candy cross equipment. And this is uh, the testing that I'm doing for you guys. So uh, Kenny Cross Equipment did show up. Um, Dog Need uh, showed up as Need showed up as well. Try Kenny Cross um, right here. Um, that did not show up. Kenny uh, Cross Harness. Um, so I'm seeing that. There we go, right there. Kenny Cross Race. I don't know if Race is going to show up, but uh, basically. Uh, yeah, that one didn't show up. Run with your dog. Uh, that's another keyword. And so, oh wait, Candy Cross Race. It, yep, Candy Cross uh, Race right there. I think I like using the um, the one that's native in the Chrome browser. Training your dog. I'm just going to check one more. It, okay, so it did a good job. And you can see all the green right here. And then all of the yellow, it a little bit over optimized on those. Um, and there is a lot of red that's probably hurting us a little bit, but um, I, so the verdict is, is that if you add keywords, I would recommend not doing what I did here. And that was just to test, right? That's the article brief. Um, there's multiple testings that we could do, not put the keywords, but just put this in and see if it would um, control it. But it does say pretty much to, uh, specify the context of the, uh, for example, if you were writing about a product, you can specify the product name, brand, and put related keywords. That's a, that's what it tells us to do. So by putting the, you know, the eight, what we want as the H2 or the article brief, it does not say that we can do that. So um, they're not claiming that they, that the software does that. But as far as the keywords, it did a pretty good job. I would say it put more than half of the keywords in there. So that's pretty good. Um, so, I mean, the verdict is, is that, this is not like agility or koala, um, some other softwares that, um, are very, um, much, um, a surge graph as well as a big one that they're going to, they're going to write a, a full SEO one click SEO article for you. Okay. Um, and this one is not that software. Okay. But if you're looking at automating, um, and your content and doing affiliate marketing and building these small niche websites and so forth, then this, uh, AI wise mind is perfect for that. And so I definitely highly recommend it just depends on what you're, you know, you could use this, um, as your main tool to get, just to keep your, um, blogs, uh, updated and regularly, regularly scheduled. Um, you know, because I haven't seen a software that, um, really allows, um, this ease to get content on websites. Um, now you guys wanted me to test. So, but a 58 is not bad. A 58 score after putting in those text is not bad. Um, but it's just a massive amount of uh, text right there. I'm not really sure if that would even be good. Um, so what I want to do is just go back up real quick project home. I want to go and test out, uh, go to content and just test out one of the articles that has already been written. Um, maybe even like this right here. 
let's go and check out the campaign. So I'm going to view, and this is a review article, but we'll see how uh, well it did. Um, this is the review right here, copy, and let's see right over here. I'm actually going to do, I'm going to remove this part right here. It should just be re review right there. Um, start, and then we're going to come back over and we're going to grab the, and it did work. Um, I did get my first internal link right here, Candy Cross, and you can see in the lower uh, left-hand corner that it did link to something and I found a post on my site to link to. So that is promising. This software just launched and they already have internal linking. You don't know how many softwares out there that have larger teams, larger budgets, and still can't figure out the internal linking piece. So this tells me that AI WiseMind has a, um, a lot to offer and they're only going to get better and better. And they came to launch, I think, um, with a lot to offer with high quality. So we're going to come through here and I'm going to grab the content and go into the review real quick because this is what you guys wanted me to do. And I'm just going to paste the content in there. We'll put our review and we'll go over here and we'll put that in. This is what the, you know, just the score is going to be about a 48. So um, I've seen worse than that, right? I've seen worse than that, just pasting content created directly into here. Um, so it's probably about average, um, you know, nothing um, amazing. But if we came up and looked at, uh, we have a 48. I just want to look at some of the competitors in here. We would be able to beat one, two, three, four. Four of the 10 um, pieces of content already just natively right, right off the bat. But of course, that's not what we would do. We would actually uh, come in here and start optimizing and so forth. So um, we could use Neuron Writer's features, so grabbing the prompt over here, ChatGBT prompt. In fact, let's go do that. So ChatGBT prompt suggested terms. And we could go and grab these keywords and we could go we could go and um, and and write some paragraphs and so forth, right? So, um, so overall, uh, definitely, um, I actually, that's a pretty good score right there, um, considering this is ChatGPT 3.5 uh, turbo. So this isn't even 4.0. Um, I could do some more testing if you guys want. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you. I know this was a little bit slower video, felt like a slower video, but we're literally just testing out software and stuff. Um, but if you guys want me to, you know, do this process and see just what a, a chat GPT four article would look like in here, then I can do that as well. Maybe um, to see what the difference is, if um, it actually gives us a better score or not, but overall not bad. I think that's a good starting point. Um, you can easily come in here and start adding uh, keywords in here and optimize this pretty quickly. So um, overall, um, I think we answered some questions, uh, some good questions here. Um, I, like I said, this is really good at um, turning out content, scheduling it to your website and so forth. I think it's going to be um, good content, average content. It's not going to be you know, your 70 plus scores uh, in any SEO optimization tool like Surfer or Neuron Writer or Phrase, um, you know, those one clicks that you are able to do that with, um, you've got to keep in mind with Agility Writer in order to do the one click SEO thing to get those, those cost like four credits, those cost like five bucks or something like that for um, between two and five dollars per article. Um, and in, in, um, the ability to be able to do that. So those come with a cost surfer, um, surfer AI, right? It's going to cost $29 to get a 70 score with clicking one button, right? So we have to keep that in mind and not be so harsh on some of these tools. Um, all the things you're getting with S uh, AI wise mind, it just is mind blowing the quality that we're getting and the site wizard, this, um, just all the things that they've th um, thought of in here. We're achieving what they built the tool for, which is to manage as many sites as you want in here and keep them updated with content and so forth. So pretty cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this deep, deep dive into just kind of analyzing the content and seeing what we can achieve with AI wise. Mine, the verdict right now is um, that we can't really do a whole lot of control over um, what we put in the boxes other than we can do some keyword, get some uh, NLP keywords and throw them in. And it seems like it will help uh, the articles. Um, again, you probably wouldn't uh, do that. Um, you would do that for if you're doing one article at a time. Um, and that's that seems to be the technique that works. But if you're using it to create a bunch of, of articles, write a campaign of 50 or 100, then uh, pasting all those uh, keywords in there might uh, not be as effective. So hope you, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to go pick up AI Wise Mind, there'll be a link below and I will see you in the next video.